Hey everybody, it's Mr. Math Blog here, and this lesson is uh, place value of whole numbers. This is our second lesson of the beginning of fifth grade. So uh, there's our common core strand. Our essential question is how can we read, write, and represent numbers through 100 million? So we have several examples in this lesson right here. So the making of a recent movie cost, and this is red right here, $8,235,000 to produce. That's a dollar sign right there. And to understand how much this is, we need to understand the place value of each digit in the number 8, 235, 000. Okay, so a place value chart contains uh, what we call periods. A period is a group of three digits separated by commas in a multi-digit number. So here's a uh, 8 with a comma right here, and then here's three digits right here. So this is a period right here, and so this is actually the thousands period. And then these three zeros is the the ones period right here. Okay, so those are those. That's what a period is. It's it's uh, three digits separated by commas. So the millions period is to the left of the thousands period. So this eight million right here is to the left of this two hundred thirty-five thousand right here. Okay, and the thousands period is to the left of this ones period right here. So these three digits are the ones digits right here, okay? So uh, one million is actually a thousand thousands and is written as one comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. A million has six zeros in it. One million does. Okay, so here's a, a, a place value chart right here. And notice right here in the million spot we have three digits where you have one for the hundred millions we have one for the ten millions and one for the one millions right here i think ours is eight million so we'll place the eight right here the thousands the three digits are hundreds tens ones and then the hundreds the three digits are hundreds tens ones again okay so this is a period the ones digit these three digits is the period for the thousands, and these three digits is the period for the millions right here. Let's put that number in there, okay? So here it is, 8, comma, uh, 235, comma, 000. Okay, sorry about the small font I had to fit in there. You'll see why I had to make it uh, small like that in just a second. So uh, the 8 right there, the digit, the 8 in the in this number, 8235000, is in the millions spot. It's in the 1 million spot right there. And the value of 8 in this is 8 times 1 million right here. So the value of this digit right here is 8 million right here, okay? And then the 2 is in the 100,000th spot. So this 2 is in the 100,000th spot. So the value of this 2 is 2 times a hundred thousand right there or two hundred thousand okay this three is in the ten thousandths spot right there so the value of that three is three times ten thousand or thirty thousand right there okay this five is in the one thousand spot so we just say it's in the thousandths spot right there so it's going to be five times a thousand or five thousand okay now these are just zero times a hundred this will be zero times ten and zero times one, so those are all zeros right there. Okay, all right. So, uh, all right. So in standard form, this is how we write it in standard form. This is just how it was presented to us: eight comma two three five comma zero zero zero. And we always put commas after three digits right here. Okay, in word form, it is read as eight million. 235,000. And since these are zeros, we don't have to represent these in words or what we have in an expanded form also. So, so in expanded form, we'd say this is this is 8 times 1 million. This 2 is in the 100,000 spot, so it's 2 times 100,000. In fact, here it is right here, 2 times 100,000. And then this 3 is in the 10,000 spot, so it's in the 10,000 spot, so 3 times 10,000, and then finally 5 times 1,000 right there. And we don't have to do anything with those zeros right there, so when writing a number in, in expanded form, if no digits appear other than the zeros um, in the place value, it is not necessary to include them in an expanded form right there. And we don't even have to say anything in word form either, it just is, it's implied. Uh, that this is 235,000. That's what these other three digits give us, the thousand spot right there. All right, let's try this. So um, uh, use place value to read and write numbers. So standard form. So here it is right here. Let's go ahead and read this. This is in the thousands spot, okay? So 582,000 right here, okay? And there's no hundreds right here. Don't say the word and. And implies a decimal. There's no decimal in here. Uh, so 582,000. 
31 okay so 582,031 okay and typically when you say a two-digit number there's always a hyphen in between it so 31 right there okay in expanded form it's five times a hundred thousand this is in the ten thousand spot so this eight right here is going to be eight times ten thousand right there okay this is in the thousand spot so two times a thousand that's what that says right there we don't need to write that zero right there but this three is in the tens spot so this will be three times ten okay and then plus that one right there okay so there it is in an expanded form right there okay the average net worth of the nba basketball teams in is four hundred eighty seven million five hundred thousand dollars wow that's a big number uh, write that number that shows this amount. Okay, well, here's a, our, our, our place value chart right here. So it says it's a, a 487 million. So we're going to be over here. We're going to put the 487 right there. And then it says 500,000. So 500,000 would be 500 and then 000 right there. Okay, so that's where they would get placed. And let's put a dollar sign in front of that. So there it is right there. This says... 487,500,000, and that takes care of it uh, with the zeros right there. Okay, um, uh, Canada's land is about 4 million square miles. Iceland has a land area of about 40,000 square miles. We're going to compare the two areas. So we're going to use a place value chart, and we're going to write the numbers in the place value chart. So 4 million is going to go right here. We're going to put the 4 here, and then zeros after that. Okay, don't forget about the commas right there. So the commas go right there. And right there, so, and then forty thousand. Okay, so forty thousand right here is goes right here. Okay, so uh, to compare the two areas, let me slide that up. And the value of each uh, place is ten times as much as the value of the place to its right right here. Okay, so this is uh, this is ten times the value of this one right here. Okay, so every time I go this way. It goes times 10, times 10. And if I go back this way, it goes one tenth, one tenth right there. Okay. All right. So count the number of whole number place value positions. So 4 million has how many more whole number place values than 40,000? Well, it has one, two. So it has two more place values. Okay. So this is like going times 10 times 10. So think of um, uh, two more places as 10 times 10 or 100 right there. So 4 million is 100 times as much as 40,000 right there, okay? That's a lot. Okay, so Canada's estimated land area is about 100 times as much as Iceland's land area right there. All right, we can use place value patterns to rename numbers also. So we're going to use uh, place value patterns and rename 40,000 using other place values. So here it is right here. So we're going to focus on this right here. So instead of saying 40,000, we're going to say this is 4. This is in the 10,000th spot right there. Here's my uh, number chart right here. So this 4 is in the 10,000th right there. So that's why it says 4 ten thousands and so it would be four times ten thousand okay now we're looking at these two digits this is 40 so this 40 ends in the one thousand so this is just forty thousand so this would be forty times a thousand right there okay and then if we look at these three digits four zero zero well four zero zero ends in the in the hundreds spot so it would be four hundred hundreds Okay, so it would be 400 times 100 right there. Okay, I hope that makes sense, you guys. Hey, if you want to um, uh, look, all, all your lessons are found at mrmathbog.com. Okay, take care, everybody.